I was wondering in the New World Symphony and in most pieces, there's a lot of themes that come back again. So how do you make each one uh, like new for the audience or interesting again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I thought I laughed a bit uh, <laughs> when I heard that question, but you know, um, when a theme comes back, it's already by what has happened before, even if it's exactly the same as the first time, the impression for the listener is already a different one because there is, there is the recognition factor, yeah? So you have heard a theme exposed in the beginning and then you hear it somewhat again, maybe in the development section and you hear it maybe exactly the same way written like the first time. But in the meantime, you have gone through all that uh, having heard another theme, which of course is in a relationship with, with the first theme. So I think it's actually a mistake to say, oh, how can I make that more interesting when it comes back, uh, you know, played upside down or whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's, you have to take into account that for the listener, as he goes uh, through that journey, the theme, even though it might be exactly 100% the same way written as the first time, it doesn't sound the same way because you had already an experience. We talked actually about this. Um, Dvorak is so clever. Even if, oh, this melody comes back, there's always something different. Always. Yeah. It, it could be, maybe it's written in octaves. Maybe it's a different voice playing. It. Maybe is it a comp there's always something that's surprising. I, so it's never you know, I, <laughs> I, I sort of uh, make a little variation on what I said before. If it's a masterpiece, don't worry uh, about making it interesting when it comes back. <laughs> if it's not a good piece, you should worry about it and try to make it more interesting. Yeah. 